County, my County Sheriff's Department. Oh, good evening. Hey, the Green Bay Police Department referred me to call uh, County, my County. Okay. In regards to the Teresa Halbach. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, this is Tom Pierce from Pierce Photography. She works with me. Um, and I talked to her. That's why I went to talk to the VP Police Department. Um, I don't know if I have any information. Okay. Uh, is there a, a detective on this case? No? Um, actually, I do have someone here that might be interested in hearing what you have to say. Oh. Okay. okay. Could you please hold? Sure. Okay. Tell you my Tony Sheriff's Department. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Yes. I was wondering if the search is still on for Teresa Gray Halbach. Yes. We have uh, no further information on that. All right. Anything else going on? Nope. It's been quiet. All right. Well, have a good weekend. Thanks. You too. Bye. -bye. Bye. Kelly, my county sheriff's department. Hi, this is Paula with Channel 2 calling. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there are any updates on the Teresa, uh, Teresa Marie Hallbox? No, we don't have any updates. Do you know by any chance if they're planning on searching uh, any particular areas? That I don't know. I don't have any further information other than what was faxed to you today. Okay. Um, do you know what time, like, everybody, like everybody else starts coming in? or? After 8 o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Kelly McCauley, Sheriff's Department. Yes, hi. This is Bonnie Fishman with the CTA 22. Mm -hmm. I am just uh, calling to see if you have any new information on the missing person. I don't. I have nothing, nothing updated here. Okay. Uh, do you know how to pronounce your last name? Hallbach. It's Hallbach? Mm-hmm. And nothing new. Nothing new. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. County Mac County Sheriff's Department. Good morning, Sean at TAQ. Yes. Any news? No news. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. County Mac County Sheriff's Department. Hi, this is Chris on the channel too. Mm -hmm. I was just calling to see if anything happened overnight. Nope, it's been quiet. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. Bye. County Mac County Sheriff's Department. Hey, it's Mike at Fox 11 Grand Bay. Yes. I promise not to call you every hour. Well, for two reasons. Number one, because I'm leaving in about five minutes. Okay. And number two, uh, no sign of a missing woman yet? No. Okay. And a good time to call would be probably afternoon today. Okay. Okay? I will leave that to Brian or All right, sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Kelly, my county sheriff's department. Hi, Steve Weidman, Coast Crest the newspaper. Anything to report? Nope, nope, it's been quiet. Nothing new in that missing lady either? Nope, nothing new. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Bye bye. Ma'am? Yes. Uh, what's the location of the fire? That would be W104 Charlesburg Road. C H A R L E S B U R G. Good morning, Carolina County Sheriff. Hi, Brian at Fox 11. Anything going on this overnight? Um, I don't know. Did you get the release on the missing Hilbert lady? Yes, we did. Any okay. updates this morning? Nope, not so far. Okay, thank you. Sure. Bye. Carolina County Sheriff. It's icky out and damp out and brrr. You're miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Typical woman. No. <laughs> Do you have any business? Yes, there is one on JJ. JJ. As long as it ain't on 151 again. You, you, you've had a rash of them, haven't you? Yes, I picked up extra even. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> now, this one you'll have to sneak to get, though. Why? And 6259JJ across the road from that. So it's on the east side of the road. It's on the what? The east side. So it's in Manitowoc County. I won't tell anybody. Oh. By what? N? 6259. 6259. Then how come I'm getting it? Because they called me, and I, I was just trying to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Such a nice person. Mm -hmm, I am. Must I be, agree. <laughs> must be right by Bullethead Lake, huh? I would think so. Good morning, Kelly McTony Sheriff. Hi. Um, just curious about the girl's name that's missing. Is it Rachel or Teresa? Teresa. Okay, um, APL just had the name Rachel on. Really? So if there's misinformation, might want to clear uh, that up right away. APL. 
and that's 271 Hold on. I'm sorry. Rachel? They had instead. Okay, and what's the APL? Um, 730, uh, what the heck am I saying now? I know their number. 271 Rock? Is it? Yeah. That would be, I think, their... 2711? It would be 2717625. 271-7625. Or 281-7625 would both be the same. I believe they said the wrong name. Okay. So I just wanted to clear that before, you know, more bad information gets out. Okay, good. All right. Is, is that a Chilton native? Um, no, she grew up in Hilbert. In Hilbert, okay. Yes. Okay, just want to help you out before, okay. like I said, before more, you know, if you need to clear that up, now would be the time. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Bye. Oh, yeah, they're working on that, sure. Okay, who would I need to talk to to find out where to go first? Okay, um, I'm going to transfer you to the investigator's office. Hopefully, I know the sheriff is in there, so hopefully they'll pick it up, okay? Okay, thank you. Sure. County Sheriff's Office. One of your listeners called in and they said they heard on WAPL about the missing person from Hilbert. Uh, Jeannie was doing that story on her newscast, yes. Okay. Um, she thought they said her first name was Rachel. What did you just say? the woman the, re the name is Teresa, T E R E S A. Middle name. Yeah, Marie is a middle name. And last name is Halbuck. And she thought I should let you know that it. Here, what, what is the last name again? Halbuck, H A L B A C H. I'll, I'll check with her, so I'm not sure what she said. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure either, but it's Teresa, just for clarification, okay? I appreciate the call. All right, thank you. Bye. I'm a county sheriff's office. Uh, Officer Baldwin, please. I'll transfer, who, please. NCIC Investigative Support. Hi, Joyce at Calumet County Sheriff's Office. Hi. We have a missing 25-year-old female, and we would like an offline search done on her vehicle. Okay. Um, um, a little paper here. Okay, may I get your name again? I'm sorry. Calumet County Sheriff. Could you spell that? C-A-L-U-M-E-T. Right. County Sheriff in Chilton, Wisconsin. Put your OR there, please. WI 0080000. And may I get your name? Mine is Joyce. And your phone number? 920-849-2335. Okay. Um, what time period shall I check for you? Um, she's been missing since Monday. So I would say if you start on the 31st. 1031, we'll only get up to yesterday right now, which is the third. Okay. So 11305, and you said just on the license? The license plate number would be S. Sam W. William H. Henry 582. Wisconsin? Yes. How will I get the results back to you? Do you have email capability? Mm-hmm. What's your email? That would be dispatch. D-I-S-P-A-T-C-H. At. Uh-huh. 
Um, ugh, I gotta think. <laughs> um, C O dot Calumet dot W I. Wait, dot oh, W dot W I dot. Go ahead. U S. Not state. Not the word state. No, nope, just dot W I. Okay. Dispatch at c o dot c a l u m e t dot w i dot u s. Correct. Word or word perfect. Um, word. All right. I will put the search in and get back to you probably for an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, just one second. I'm gonna make sure I give you the right one here. Do you have a VIN that you want to add to that or just on the tag? Um, just on the tag. It should be on. Okay. Yeah, it's dispatch at co.calumet.wi.us. Yep. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I had the CO and the Calumet in the right order. All right. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it should be on a dark green Toyota Rave. Well, that won't yeah. even come up there, so it's okay. just for saying whoever ran the tag. Okay. Okay. That's, that's good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Tama County Sheriff's Office. Kelly Simple, please. Sure. Thank you. Tama County Sheriff's Office. Hey, it's Schultz. Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, hey, could you look at Hollis and see if we have any other Tammy Schultz's by chance? That's not the right one. Well, it might be, but I checked that address. Nobody there. Oh. She doesn't live there. Um, that phone number that we traced back came back to a DJ service, so we're, I got a message for him to call back. But one of the gals at this address said that uh, she thinks her boyfriend um, found props in those. Areas. I got a message for him. I just thought maybe look at house. Maybe we'd have another Tammy Schultz with a different number or something. I don't know. We have several Tammy Schultzes in house. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Any about that's uh, the two LTZ, right? It was. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, fifty-nine. Cause these are years of birth. Fifty-nine, sixty-three, sixty-four. Probably looking for something in the twenties. Uh, yeah, 64. That's about it. Okay. Hmm. I don't think that'll do any good. When I, was, I got uh, two people should be calling back eventually. Okay. Uh, a Brad, I think it's pronounced Sia. I don't know how the hell to spell it. And then the, uh, uh, the John Propson, and I told them to call, leave a number where I could call them back, and then I would do that. Okay. So I couldn't remember what the number was in 807, and I probably wouldn't hear it anyways. Yeah, okay. All righty. Um, could you also check for an address for Propsons on Coney S? S is in Sam? Yeah. I'm going to stop by there and see if they're related by chance. They look similar if one photo is correct. That's probably Jonathan, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I did. You have a son, Pat, maybe, and well, Jonathan is is born in '81. Okay, that could be because the other the uh, that could be the same person, isn't it? It could. Two seven seven two four nine nine. That looks like a cell phone number two. Okay. He lives on Sixth Street now in Hilbert, but I'm thinking he's one of those from yeah. He is one of those from F. Okay. What address do you have on Sixth Street? Thir- Thirteen South Six, Apartment B. Okay, I'll run over there and take a look quick. Okay, I'll get hey, you. Man. I'll get you in route there. Oh, good enough. All right. All right bye. Morning, County, my County Sheriff's Office. Good morning, Ray at HBY. Yeah. Jerry Poggle around. I I left a voicemail message for him about an hour and a half ago. He didn't get back to me. He's not back. He's out of the office right now? I suspect he must be between there and Manitowoc somewhere. Yeah, someplace working. Um, Can you hold on a second, Ray? Sure. Slide 104. Slide 104. Do you want to talk to Paul, maybe? Uh, yes, Paul, part of the investigation. He probably knows what's going on. Okay. All right. 
What, 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 uh, I, d- I dialed Paul's line directly. Okay. But I, uh, he was not at his desk, so... Uh, I, we'll try again. His line's open right now. It is. Uh, yeah. uh, what, well, Paul was not in uh, Manitowoc, was he at all? Or? Mm, not that I know of. W- would Jerry brief Paul on what's going on? Yes. He would, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll try call. Can you transfer my call? Sure. Thank you. Kel McCormick Sheriff. Um, Mark Weiger, please. He is out of the office right now. Can I take a message? Sure, I can send a message. Oh, otherwise you have a message just for him or you need immediate attention? Uh, no, I don't I can just send a message. It's not important. Okay, hold please. John McCormick Sheriff's office. Captain Roosh's, please. Sure. Did anybody try dialing her cell phone and seeing what power it's coming off of? Yeah, we've been working on that, too. Okay. So they, they're not able to do it at this time for whatever reason. Oh, really? Because we found people that way in the past. Okay. Yeah, singular can't do it. Um, okay. So. All right. Maybe they don't have their own towers that they're using somebody else's. That's possible. Okay. All right. Okay. Just a thought. All right. Thanks. Anyway. Sure. Bye. Camel County Sheriff's Office. Yes, uh, I need to leave a message for Officer Schultz. Um, he called and told me to leave his, my number to get a hold of him. Okay. It's my, uh, my name is Bradley. Okay. And he called me just this morning. My number is 217 Is that going to need a 920 area code or yes, not? That's right. That's okay. Right. All right. Yes. Thank you. For Mark. Oh, I was going to say, don't hang up on me this time. <laughs> <laughs> I got a phone number number for that Bradley Sia. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Uh, same address? Yeah. Um, I, yeah, that's that Highway 57 address. Okay. That's a trailer park in Greenleaf. It is. Mm-hmm. Okay. We got a couple 28s that go with it. I'll clip those together and bring them back. How about that? That'd be great. Okay. Thank you, Joyce. Sure. Bye. In my county sheriff's office. Hey, Joyce, it's Cedar. Eh? Mm-hmm. Could you send a teletype to Brown and to Adegany to have them check their airports for uh, Teresa's vehicle? Will do. Thank you, ma'am. Sure. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, Kelly McCombie Sheriff. Hi, uh, I'm calling from CBS News in New York on the show 48 Hours, and I was wondering if there was someone I could speak with you about know, the Hallback investigation. Um, I will transfer you to the captain. Hold please. Thank you. Diamond right. County Sheriff. Good afternoon. This is Scott Hurley from Fox 11 News calling. Um, we were hoping to uh, speak with one of the investigators in the Hallbach case in regards to the uh, airplane that's going up. Um, I don't have an investigator here. Okay. Could I transfer you to the captain? Sure. Okay. Hold please. Good afternoon, Kelly, my county sheriff. What's so good about it? Um, can you give me a number for Green Bay PD, please? Yeah. Green Bay. Um, the magic number is 448. Okay. 3200. Thank you much. Bye. Kelly, my county sheriff's permit. Hey, Steve? Yes. I know I've asked you this a million times, but I'm going to ask you to do another reverse directory for me. Are you sure? Let me get into the screen, please. I'd have to reply to someone. Can you see the 920? 
John, Steve, can you talk? Yeah. I've um, got a thing back from Green Bay PD for your phone number. Well, hold on. Go ahead. Patrick Hermus, H-E-R-M-U-S. Okay. 535 11th Avenue, Green Bay. All right. Um, also, I got a fax from um, SPDS. About yeah. Phone numbers. Apparently, Wendy requested that. Yeah. Um, it's, it's here if you need it, so. Cool. Do me a favor, could you? Find out where this 535 11th Avenue is. Can you hold on, please? Man. John, Steve, can you talk? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, this address is off of Mason Street, uh, off of West Mason Street, and it'll be east of Oneida Street, if that helps. And the north-south roads are um, numbered roads. Okay, Mark, do you know where Mason Street or Oneida Street is from here? Well, we'll take us back there. Uh, we'll get back there somehow. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Okay, I'm calling Sheriff's Department. Hi. Yes. I'm. I'm calling from NBC26 to find out if there are any updates. Mm, the nothing's been released yet. Nothing's been released. Correct. Okay. So the same as what was disseminated. This is Diana. Uh, I spoke to uh, Mark Weger. Is this him? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, I was there last night, and yes. I've kind of been following up on it today, uh -huh. and I just wanted to hear if anything different from what we heard last night. Nope. Nothing. Uh, they haven't uh, told us anything more. I'm sorry. Can we go to Can I talk to a, a doctor? He's on the road. I can have him call you. Okay. Phone number is 920-921-3470. Hey, who's this? Charles. He knows what it's regarding. Okay. I'll be a little bit. Okay. If there's any searches or anything for that for Teresa Halbuck? Not at this time. There is not. Um, do you know if that'll make the news if there's going to be uh, a search? Or... Yeah, that'll be in the news. Okay. Um, is there anything that we can do at this time? No, not at this time. Okay. I appreciate you calling. Okay, thank you. Take it. Okay, I'm going to share from it. Hey, Steven? Yes, sir. Just reconfirming that uh, house number, it was 535. Okay, let me check here. Um... 535 11th Avenue, Green Bay. Okay. So there is no such address. Oh, that's what the teletype said. Yeah. It looks like there might have been a house there at one time, but it's no longer. Oh, jeez. So, uh, okay. I guess uh, if we can do it at time. All right. Thanks, Steve. Sure, right. Bye. Okay, I'm going to share this permit. Hi, this is Dean Chelsea News. I was hoping you guys could give me an update on the helicopter search you were running. No, nope, we have no information yet at this time. No, you didn't find a car. Uh, we have no information at this time. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to share this permit. Hi, um, I'm calling with just some limited information about the Teresa Hallbach. Okay, why don't you hold on? I'll switch over to somebody. Okay. Okay. Um, we're handing out flyers in Manitowoc, the city of Manitowoc at this time, about for Teresa. Uh -huh. And at this point, there was a young lady who thought she had saw her at a auto shop. It's called TR Truck and Auto. It's on County Highway CR. Okay. She does not remember exactly when she had seen her, so... Okay, do you got a name or for a phone number or anything? Um, the establishment that we did see her at was a tanning salon place on Washington Street. Okay. 
Okay, why don't you let Manitowoc um, Police Department know about that, and then they can follow up on that part. Okay, sounds Thanks. great. Thank you. Right. Chemical Insurance Department. If, if you think you could locate a phone number for the BP gas station in Denmark for me. In Denmark? Yeah. BP? BP. Okay. Give me a call back. Thanks. Sure. Bye. Please. Uh, Denmark, Wisconsin. Just one second, please. And the distance? Uh, BP gas station. Oh, okay, looking for a BP. Yes. And it must be under the owner. Oh, just one second here. Let's see, I've got a BP gas in Milwaukee, but that's all I'm showing. I'm oh. sorry. Okay, I'll do some more checking. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Brown. Kelly McCowney here. Can you give me the phone number for the BP gas station over in Denmark? BP gas station. Please. Sure, Mama. Sure. Hi, this is Mark. I hope you don't uh, run BP and get robbed over in Denmark. <laughs> Why? They couldn't help me out. I checked... Uh, under internet, there's three gas stations up there, so I'll give you all three phone numbers the best I can do. Okay. Uh, first one's Cooperative out of Denmark. It's 863-2171. Can I share this permit? SDC uh, Asset Protection is going to be calling for me in uh, hopefully the next few minutes, okay? Thank you, John. Thanks. Tell you my county sheriff's department. Yes. Uh, you got a lost person over there? Yes, we do. That uh, license plate number that they just showed on the on the TV, mm -hmm. I seen that this morning. <laughs> Ten four. Where did you see that this morning? It was on Highway 15 coming into Appleton. Okay, was it on the same vehicle? The it's green. Almost positive, yeah. Okay. And it was coming from Greenfield, going into Appleton. Okay. What I'll do is um, I'm going to transfer you to the investigator who's handling the case. And if you could leave your name and telephone number and then just give a brief little scenario as to that you saw that vehicle at what time this morning. Sure. Okay? Okay, hang on. I'm going to transfer you to his voicemail. Hi, Mark. Yes. This is Connie in Dispatch. Hi. I just received a call from a gentleman who states that he saw the vehicle of the missing girl this okay. morning on Highway 15 in the Grand Chute area. On Highway 15 in the Grand Chute area. And there would be actually double O that goes out from Greenville to Appleton. Okay. Did he describe who was driving it at all? No. Nope. What I did was I told him to... I was gonna, I just explained that I was going to transfer him to your voicemail, and he needs to leave his name and number and give us a scenario of what he observed and okay. and someone. What time did you see it? Uh, in the morning. The morning. Morning hours. Okay. So, um, Kelly, my county sheriff's department. Yes, I may possibly have a tip. I don't know for oh. that Teresa Halbach who's gone missing. Okay. Um, I was watching the news, and as soon as they said photographer, it tripped something. On Tuesday morning, I was going to work. Um, I work as a secretary at Trinity Evangelical Lutheran Church out in um, Trinity, Liberty, sorry, <laughs> Liberty, Manitowoc. Okay. And there was a woman who had a hairstyle just like that where they tucked the hair behind the ears, and she was pulled over with her hazards on, and I was going to pull over until I saw that she wasn't in trouble, but she was taking a picture of the cows, I think, in the field right next to it. And the... I'm trying for the life of me to remember what color the car was, but it was like an SUV-type vehicle, but I don't honestly remember the color of it. Okay. What time on Tuesday? It would have been like 8.35 because I was a little bit late. Okay. And I don't know if that makes any sense because I read on here like Monday was the last anybody heard from her, so I don't know. Right. If she was she supposed to stay overnight in the area or something? I'm not sure. Okay, because she didn't look stressed out. You know what I mean? Okay. She was very well dressed. I'm trying to think exactly what she was wearing, and I honestly don't know if she was not wearing a coat. I remember thinking it was kind of early in the morning to be dressed <laughs> that nice and a little out of place, but 
Um, okay. Um, can I have your name? Sure. It's Anna Knutson, K-N-U-T-S-O-N. And your telephone number? Is um, 7... I'm always giving out the church with 775.